नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी वन मोर क्लस्टरिंग एल्गोरिदम व्हिच इज हेरार्किकल एग्लोमोरेटिव क्लस्टरिंग क्लस्टरिंग एज यू नो इज कंसर्न अबाउट ग्रुपिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स विद सिमिलर एट्रीब्यूट्स और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द सेम क्लस्टर आर क्लोजर टू वन अनदर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट्स फ्रॉम द अदर क्लस्टर्स इन द इमेज अबाउ द क्लस्टर्स विद द सेम कलर शेयर सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज the properties are marked on the axis there is a weight and height those are the two properties so you can see that the red cluster probably represent people with low bmi similar interpretations can also be drawn from the other two clusters earlier in this week we studied kamins clustering algorithm now we'll study hierarchical agglomerative clustering algorithm or in general hierarchical clustering algorithms There are two flavors of hierarchical clustering algorithms. One is a bottoms-up approach, and another is a top-down approach. In bottoms-up approach, we consider each data point as a cluster, and then we combine them to form a larger cluster. We keep repeating this process until we are left with a single cluster containing all the points. In the top-down approach, the entire data is considered as a single cluster, and then it is divided. to form smaller clusters in subsequent steps the merging and splitting decisions are influenced by certain conditions that we will be discussing shortly the merging and splitting decisions are taken based on metrics metrics are used for calculating similarity between clusters note that the metric is a generalization of concept of distance the metrics follow certain properties like that they should be non negative they should be symmetric and they should follow triangle inequality So the popular metric functions are Euclidean, Manhattan, and cosine metrics. Euclidean and Manhattan metrics are very similar to Euclidean distance and Manhattan distance that we studied in nearest neighbor classifier. Cosine distance, on the other hand, calculates calculates the dot product between the vector and divide it by the product of the norm of the vectors, and the resulting ratio is subtracted from one, and that gives us the cosine distance. linkage is a strategy for aggregating clusters there are four linkages that we will study one is single linkage second is average linkage then it's complete linkage and watts linkage single linkage criteria merges clusters based on the shortest shortest distance over all possible pairs we calculate the distance the shortest shortest distance between two clusters based on the closest point and based on that we perform the merging of the clusters in complete linkage we calculate distance between the farthest points in the cluster and combine two clusters that minimize this maximum distance between two farthest points the average linkage criteria uses average distance over all possible pairs between the group of merging clusters and finally watts linkage calculates the sum of square distance within the clusters Let's look at hierarchical agglomerative clustering algorithm. In the first step we calculate distance matrix between pairs of clusters. And this distance matrix is calculated based on the chosen metric. In the second step we run a loop while all objects are clustered into one. We first detect two closest groups and merge them and we keep repeating this process until we get a single cluster consisting of all the points. dendrogram are a graphical representation of agglomerative process which shows how aggregation happens at each level let's take an example to understand hierarchical clustering and the resulting dendrogram here we take a toy dataset consisting of five examples we scale these examples we plot these points in 2d plot with feature x1 on x axis and feature x2 on y axis then we plot dendrogram with scipy.cluster.hierarchy library we first link the points using ward method and then plot the dendrogram this is the resulting dendrogram you can see that point 1 and 2 are the closest one and they got merged uh, in the in the initial stage then the point 3 and 4 were the second closest point and they got merged uh, later point 0 and the the cluster of 1 and 2 were closest so they got merged in the next step and finally we 
merge these two resulting clusters. So this is how the aggregation of cluster happened and which is represented in dendrograms. So HSC is implemented in sklearn.cluster module as agglomerative clustering class. Now what you can do is you can cut this dendrogram as at arbitrary places and form clusters. So if you cut the dendrogram over here, you will get these two cluster, one containing point 3 and 4 and second containing point 0, 1 and 2. If we cut the dendrogram over here, you can see that there are three clusters that will get formed, one which is with point 3, 4, then with point 0 and third with point 1 and 2. In this video, we studied hierarchical agglomerative clustering and various linkages and metrics used in hierarchical agglomerative clustering. We also looked at dendrograms that shows the aggregation of clusters in the bottoms of approach.